As a designer and TV host for the last 18 years, I've helped people achieve the home of their dreams. With so many of us rethinking how we live right now, I wanted to help bring real life solutions to people who are ready to transform their homes with simple, easy to achieve solutions. This is In The Room with John Gidding. Today, I'm designing for Maham and Asid. They've got an outdated bathroom in their first home, which they admit has some quirks. My name is Maham. I live with my husband, Asid. We just bought our first house. And although we love some of the quirks, um, the bathroom's left a little to be desired. So my goal for the bathroom is to have a calm and you know nice space where we can both get ready in the morning and start our day. I love black and white, minimal theme, lots of storage, um, gold accents, and I trust you guys to help me design this into a beautiful space. I'm just looking over their photographs right now. This is a color scheme I like to call beige on beige on brown. I've seen it before. It's a low cost way of achieving kind of a clean look in a bathroom, right? It almost looks modern if you don't look too close. But of course we're looking closely today and there's a lot that we can do here. One of the things we can't do is move walls around. This is a constrained space, long and thin, with walls that have plumbing running through them, so you know we can't move things around easily. Instead, what we have to focus on is how we finish the space out. We can be creative in this vanity space, and then be creative in the shower space. Between these two spaces, we can bring in enough personality and make this the calm, nice space Maham and Asid have been wanting. The first thing I'm doing is adding two separate sinks. What this does is it creates a his and hers vibe for this bathroom, and I think that's what ends up making this feel larger. One of Maham's other requests was a lot of storage. The cabinets currently, as they are, they maximize how much storage is required. The one change, of course, is where the bump in for the makeup area is. I wanna bump that back out and make that a full-scale cabinet box. Now, Maham has asked for a calm and nice space with black and white minimalist detailing. The bathroom is one of the most crucial rooms in the house because we spend so much time in it. You gotta feel good as soon as you walk in and it has something to do with adding personality. So my approach in these drawings is to bring in wallpaper. I think that wallpaper is back Especially in small bathroom settings, it brings in so much personality into the vibe. What I'm proposing here is a cool, dark gray wallpaper, tones on tones, and then keeping everything else solid blocks of color. If you're gonna bring in personality with the wallpaper, have the tile be calm. If you're gonna bring in personality through the tile, the walls can be calm, but one or the two should express you. The other space to talk about is the shower space. Now, this is gonna be your big investment in your bathroom, is upgrading the shower to a proper tiled shower. Remove the thermoformed plastic, bring in tile. I would bring in a dark floor, light walls, subway tile is perfect. Save money on the wall tile so you can spend the money on the shower doors. The right look for you is glass and steel. The more money you spend, the thinner the steel profile will be. And finally, have fun with the accessories. This is where you mentioned gold details. There's such beautiful brass accessories out there these days. I usually go for a brushed brass look. One thing for the accessories that you gotta keep in mind is if you go all brass all the time, it gets a little bright and it gets a little in your face. So my approach would be to bring in brass details in limited areas so that it's really more of a bonus rather than a field of brass looking back at you when you walk into the bathroom. So that's my design for you, Maham. I'm very curious to know which of these options you're gravitating towards, because I know it can go in a variety of different ways. But that's the beauty of designing for small bathrooms. It's an opportunity to bring in your personality while making sure it's a serene space for your mornings. If you've got a home makeover project you need help with or a room you'd like to reimagine, drop us a DM at shelter on Instagram and tell us your story. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss a new episode.